Welcome to our lecture online. Now here's a problem that you could probably do rather quickly, which is a good thing because you might have spent more than three minutes per problem on some of the previous problems. So what is this problem about? Well, it deals with linear momentum. It says that two particles having masses of 4 grams and 16 grams respectively are moving with equal kinetic energies. The ratio of the magnitudes of their linear momentum is n to 2. The value of n will be. So, two particles, one 4 grams, and the other one 16 grams. And they're moving with their respected velocities, let's call it v1 and v2. And it turns out that kinetic energy 1 is equal to kinetic energy 2. So that means that we have 1 half m1 v1 squared is equal to 1 half m2 v2 squared. Now notice the 1 halves cancel out and we realize that in this case m2 equals 4 times m1 because it has 4 times the mass. So let's replace that in there. So we have m1 times v1 squared is equal to 4 m1 times v2 squared and then the m1s cancel out. And then we take the square root of both sides and we get v1 is equal to 2 times v2. So that means that for them to have an equal kinetic energy, v1 must move twice as much or twice as fast as mass 2, or mass 1 should move twice as fast as mass 2. So now let's go to the linear momentum portion. So we're looking for the ratio, the magnitudes of their ra the ratio of the magnitudes is n to 2. So what we're looking for is we want P1 to P2 is equal to question mark. What is the ratio between the two momentums, the linear momentums of the two? All right, we know that linear momentum is M1 V1 divided by M2 V2. And of course, we realize that M2 is 4 M1. So we get M1 V1 divided by 4 M1 V2. And then the M1s cancels out. And then we realize that v1 equals 2v2, so this is equal to 2v2 divided by 4v2. Of course, the v2s cancel out, and 2 divided by 4 is equal to 1 divided by 2, and we're going to set that equal to n over 2. And then it's clear to see that n must equal 1, and that is the correct answer in this case. So you can see that this is something you could probably crank out in less than three minutes, giving you a few precious seconds to add to the next problem, if that one takes more. But that is how it's done.